corona virus cases in india reached to touch 10 lakh mark with 1 lakh cases being added in just 3 days there has been no respite in spiking cases and the number of deaths in india going by the current national trend a team of scientists at indian institute of science has made shocking projections the projection made by the team estimates that india would have a few more than 35 lakh cases by september 1 The worst case scenario projections show that Maharashtra will have 6.3 lakh total cases and 2.1 lakh active cases. It would be 2.4 lakh and 81,000 in Delhi, 1.6 lakh and 53,000 in Tamil Nadu and 1.8 lakh and 61,000 in Gujarat. The projections done by Professor Shashi Kumar G, Professor Deepak S and their team estimate that by September 1, India would have recorded 1.4 lakh deaths of which 25,000 will be from Maharashtra, 9,700 from Delhi, 8,500 from Karnataka, 6,300 from Tamil Nadu and 7,300 from Gujarat. The most shocking projection done by the team of scientists is that by November 1st India is predicted to have 1.2 crore cases including 30.2 lakh active and 5 lakh deaths and by January 1st 2021 these numbers would be 2.9 crore that is 60 lakh and 10 lakh deaths Karnataka is estimated to have 7.2 lakh cases by November 1st with 1.9 lakh active cases and 30,400 deaths and by January 1st these numbers will be 10.8 lakh and 78,900. As per a worst scenario projection no peak is predicted for India until end of March 2021 at which time there will be around 82 lakh active cases and still growing. 28 lakh deaths and 6.18 crore total cases a similar analysis is done for various states the proposed model is a paradigm shift in mathematical modeling of infectious diseases this modeling framework introduces a multidimensional equation to predict the spread of pandemics with insights into the severity of infection duration of infection population age etc dr shashi said He further claimed that such insightful predictions are key for planning and said these insights can be used to formulate science informed policy to revive normalcy especially from the disruption induced by covid-19 There is still a shortage of ventilators and isolation beds in the country while the healthcare system continues to collapse the government has not put serious efforts in the enhancement of these fast shrinking health resources the chaos in handling the coronavirus pandemic has made it all the more challenging for the nation india has come in the top ranks of worst affected nations in just one month and the projections made by the scientists are alarming Despite numerous suggestions put forth by experts after interactions with Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, the government has not included them in its plan to fight the coronavirus pandemic.